random pal plus another weird ass game that I decided on for fucking just a random ass review. It's called The Muppets. Anybody that remembers The Muppet Show or Kermit the Frog, you'll be familiar with the characters in this game. Well, anyway, let's see what this game is about. Apparently, for Game Boy Color, this game has actual audio, which ain't bad. See some of your favorite Muppets, like Sam the Eagle and Rolf and all of them entering the studio. So I guess this is based off the Muppet Show. Of course, fucking Gonzo. My favorite Muppet was Beaker. There's Kermit and Animal. The animations, the animations are good for this game. I know it's a handheld system game, but the animations are good, and the graphics are actually pretty good on it, too. Of course, Bunsen and Honeydew sends them to some weird-ass time period, so I guess it is a time travel game. time period to try to save whichever Muppet got fucking taken to that time period so it's a fucking you select your stage and I guess there are different levels in each stage and after you beat them all you can do the final level of the stage to rescue the Muppet apparently this one is Fozzie Bear the old men that always talk shit. <laughs> so yeah, you play as Animal, apparently as the main character, so Animal is trying to save all the Muppets, which is kind of fucked up. But it's a typical side-scroller. Yeah, it's a typical side-scroller. Ah, uh, disappearing platform. Alright, can't hit that guy again, you got a fucking shield. I guess I can enter here. Doesn't seem like the weapon does much. Alright, answer that question. I know you probably hadn't asked before, but what the point is there to having a fucking weapon if it does nothing? And apparently, if you fall too far, you fucking die. This game is actually not that good. It's an interesting side scroller. Really? I got horribly injured from that shortfall? It's an interesting game, but... Uh, I guess he can kill them, but just fucking takes a shitload of hits. Now I have no weapons to fight anything else because he has limited weapons. Well, this game is interesting just because it's a Muppet based game, but. It's not that good. I mean, it's. There's nothing special about it, it's just another game trying to be a classic side-scroller, but yet it kind of fails at it. The 
enemies take way too many hits to kill. And your object fucking dying while falling is fucking horrible. I'm going back through that door. I think that was just a treasure room anyway. I really got hurt from doing that. Alright. I may have picked a terrible game. This game is not very good. I should have picked a better game to do a random review on. This game you can't do a goddamn thing without being fucking killed. Alright, did I pass that level? I don't know, there's no indication of anything other than the graphics being decent and the animation being alright. The music is not very good, the music is kind of annoying. The enemies take way too many hits to kill. Yeah, this game, yeah. All I can say is this game is actually not that good. I played way better games for Game Boy. Even shittier side scrollers. I gotta end this review here. I need to pick a better game next time. This game was a random review. This game was a random review, but this game turned out to be terrible. I gotta do a better pick next time. Anyway, if you wanna like my videos, or if you do like them, please subscribe. This game apparently turned out to be a terrible choice. Next time I pick a random game, it'll be better. But anyway, y'all have a good night.